of every film that has ever existed, Epic Movie has been rated the 12th worst. That's according to IMDb's bottom 100 movies. And I have to say, I don't agree. And I am quite a comedy snob. I have to admit that I don't like kind of juvenile humour. But there's something about this film, mainly because I have a really strong penchant for comedy um, parodies, and I really love them, that this film, although not amazing, I don't think it's the 12th worst film that's ever existed. This was directed by Jason Friedberg and Aaron Seltzer. It was released in 2007, I think I first saw it, probably around about then. And the description from IMDb says that this is a spoof of the previous year's epic movies, um, TV shows, uh, music videos and celebrities, which I think is great. I assume that their point was to make this a success and then do one every year. That, and I would have really enjoyed that if they were creating a parody movie for every year's biggest films. I, I would have absolutely adored that. But I do kind of like the selection they've made. And I think that's why this works for me. The films they've parodied are films that I really enjoyed. So I could relate to, you know, the aspect of the parodies and what they were doing. There is a relative narrative to it. I think the films are threaded together reasonably well. But ultimately, you know, at no point did I kind of find the narrative, the gripping aspect and the thing that I was concerned about the most. I didn't care how it developed. I was just interested to see what films they parodied next and, you know, which celebrities they'd poke fun at. Um, I'll just give you a quick rundown of the films and TV shows that they've parodied. The... You know, I think if you've seen none of these, then definitely there's no reason to watch Epic Movie. But if you've seen any of these, you're very fond of these, then it's just good fun and a really fun way to explore the characters in another more parodic way. So we have Chronicles of Narnia, Da Vinci Code, Natural Libre, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Snakes on a Plane, X-Men The Last Stand, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Borat, Pirates of the Caribbean, Superman Returns, Click, MTV Cribs, uh, Harold and Kumar, Punked, Saturday Night Live, SNL. Lord of the Rings, Mission Impossible, Casino Royale, and V for Vendetta. It also parodies Mel Gibson, Lindsay Lohan, Kanye West, Samuel L. Jackson, Paris Hilton, and Monty Python. I love that there's quite a good mix of genres there and uh, you know a range of different celebrities. It's not just all the same kind of thing. And that's actually going to be quite a challenge to be able to make them all work together because they're all very different. So I kind of like that. The other thing as well is that it's got a, a, a pretty decent cast in it um including jennifer coolidge who i absolutely love i really love her um we also have crispin glover and fred willard and a whole bunch of other names there are of course a lot of names in this that i don't recognize but there are actually some pretty notable actors in this so i don't think it's that bad costumes as well the costumes are very good the visual parodies some of them are not that great, but some of them actually really are quite entertaining and, you know, instantly recognisable, and that's really important when you have a parody. Soundtrack I wasn't too bothered by. It's not bad, but it's not, you know, it's nothing special. But I think they took a lot of different films and gave them an equal time. For example, if you take things like Scary Movie, I'm a big fan of the Scary Movie films because I love horror and I love parodies, but they're not balanced. They usually parody one or two films very heavily and sprinkle in a few little parodies here and there. But Epic Movie actually balances a lot of the things they parody really well and gives each or most of the films and TV shows an equal amount of attention. And that's not the easiest thing to do while also making the narrative relatively streamlined. I'm not saying this is perfect. But to be the twelfth worst film ever, obviously that's obviously it's got it's got a lot of reviews, which helps, um, or I guess hinders it in this case. There are plenty of films that I'm sure are a lot worse that have got like two reviews, so it doesn't even rank. But still, I don't think it's that bad. Definitely not that bad. I quite like it. Quite fond of it. If you haven't seen it and you like parodies, definitely check it out. At the very least. Allow yourself the chance to form your own opinion because I will always have a fondness for this film. It may have actually been the first parody film I saw 
I'm not 100% confident on that fact, but certainly one of the very earliest. Epic movie may not be the most amazing film ever. It may not be epic, but it's also not an epic fail. I really like it.